So this really might be the end of ChatGPT use for academia. And this tool, SciSpace, might bury ChatGPT and you will no longer need to use it. Why? Because SciSpace actually has access to millions of papers and it does not invent information that does not exist. SciSpace actually gives you accurate information, it summarizes papers for you, it allows you to write papers as well and reference them and it gives you real citation and real facts from real academic papers unlike ChatGPT which is well known for hallucinations. So let's dive right in and let's see how you can start using SciSpace completely for free to not only do your literature review much better, uh, read text faster, but also how to write texts um, and reference using modern AI tools. Now, if you're new here, my name is Maria Kiczkowak and I run Academic English Now, where we help PhD students and researchers write and publish research papers in top Scopus Index journals. So um, when you get started with SciSpace, um, it's first superpower that I think makes it so much better than ChatGPT and many other AI tools for that matter is its ability to um, answer your research questions by actually referring and reading research papers. So you can basically start with um, a question that you have and you can type in any question that you want right here or you can use one of the suggested questions um, in here. So I'm just going to um, use one of the suggested questions here and the first thing that you're going to get is insights from top five or top ten papers and you can basically switch between five um, and ten. And the cool thing is that you actually get references to those papers so you can verify that information whether that's real or invented. And as I said, SciSpace is not going to invent uh, and hallucinate like ChatGPT does. So this is straight away better. And imagine like how much time does this actually save you? This is a synthesis of top papers on that specific question, which I think is fantastic. Now, the second fantastic feature that SciSpace has is it will give you summaries of the key sections of the papers um, and it will list the papers in here. OK, and you can change those columns that are listed here. Uh, from the list of suggested columns. So you can see the columns in here or you can create your a new column and for example uh, put it suggestions for future research or something like this, right? And you can toggle between the columns in here. So let's say we're interested in practical implications. We're also interested in future research, okay? And maybe what else are we interested in? Let's say we, we want to know what were the objectives of that paper, okay? And there you go. And you get that for all the papers. So imagine how much this is going to speed up things like doing, for example, finding the research gap. Because obviously, if you're looking for research gaps, you want to be looking at what suggestions for future research these papers make. And before, you had to read each paper one by one and then collect that information somewhere in an Excel sheet and then analyze it and so on. Now you've got it at your fingertips right here in this future research column. And then also, if you continue scrolling down, uh, SciSpace is going to continue loading more papers. Now you can see I've got 40 papers that answer that particular question, okay? So it's not limited to just 10 papers. And of course, in here, what you can also do and what you should do is to filter your results. Maybe you just want top tier papers, so papers from the best journals and the best conferences. You can also filter by um, by specific keywords, right? So we've been answering just a general question, why are aging COVID patients more sus susceptible? Uh, but we could include specific keywords. Let's say you're just interested in um, papers that, or in studies that were done in Europe, okay? So you could put, you know, the keyword as Europe, for example, here, or maybe you're interested, you know, in 
aging COVID patients, but cardiovascular diseases. So you could you could put CVD or cardiovascular disease in here, and then you can also exclude papers by keywords. So it, it really allows you to do uh, the literature review search much faster and extract information from the relevant papers much, much faster. And then what you can do is you can chat with each individual uh, paper and ask SciSpace questions. So you can see I clicked on chat with paper and then I can, you know, ask SciSpace, well, what were the surprising results um, in this paper? And I just chose one of the suggested questions, but obviously you can ask SciSpace any question that, uh, that you want regarding this, um, this specific uh, paper, okay? And then you get an answer about it in here, okay? And then you can save that answer to the notebook. I'm gonna talk about taking notes in just um, a second. But that's, that's not the end of it because what we can also do is we can also chat with papers that are in our library. So what's happening here is that SciSpace is pulling information from academic databases and it's finding papers available online in peer-reviewed journals. But to further increase the accuracy, you could actually upload PDFs to the library because then you're ensuring that SciSpace is just reviewing you know the, the the papers that are relevant to your study not just any paper that's available online so that that first feature that I showed you is probably good if you're if you're starting out on the literature review and you don't have the papers downloaded yet but if you have papers downloaded you want to upload them here you can see I've, I uploaded 71 files you can easily import them from your Zotro library um, as well, which I think is a fantastic feature. It just saves you a lot of um, a lot of time, and you can sync things between uh, between the two. Okay, uh, and then once you've uploaded it, you can see that I've I've got the same feature um, in here, right, with the with the columns, okay, and insights from those particular. Uh, papers. Now a cool thing that I can do is I can chat with all those papers um, at once. How am I going to do it? Well, I'm just going to select all of them, okay? Um, so I'll select all of them apart from my uh, notebooks and then I'm going to click Ask Copilot. So this actually allows you to chat with, you know, in this case I selected 12 papers, okay? Um, and ask questions about all of them. So, you know, let's say, what are the limitations of these studies, okay? And then you're going to get a summar summarized answer from 12 papers, not just one by one, like, you know, in here I can see the limitations of each individual paper, but in order to know what are the overall limitations, I'd have to put the individual limitations in like an Excel sheet and sort of try to synthesize it myself. But SciSpace can actually do this for you. So there you go. Um, you've got one limitation. And what I like about it as well is that it, it summarizes it first in bullet points. So you've got like the main limitation in here, lack of long-term um, effectiveness data. And then you've got an explanation of that. And then you've got a reference as well to a specific study, and then you can go and read that study. So you can actually verify that what SciSpace is, is saying is actually true, which is super important because with ChatGPT, you cannot do that. You don't know if what ChatGPT is giving you is actually based on any data or it's just information that ChatGPT invented. And then here you can see you've got references to specific, um, specific papers that we can then um, open, right, and and read, which I think is um, is fantastic. And then you can see the sources in here again uh, that we were reading with numbers, okay. Uh, and then you can you can read them further. So so that's a fantastic feature whereby you're chatting not just with one specific paper, but with all the papers and getting summaries of answers. But of course you can also um, you can also chat with uh, a specific PDF. So once you've uploaded the PDFs. Um, or once you've found a paper through the initial literature review search that I've shown you, you can actually chat with it um, here. And um, you can ask uh, questions um, that I've been showing you, right? And it's what I like about it is that it actually gives you the prompt and suggested questions. So with ChatGPT, you need to know what prompt to actually give so that you, you know, you, you get a good answers. In here, 
the prompts are already tried, tested and proven. So it again speeds up the process immensely uh, for you because you just click on you know the, uh, the prompt and you get an answer um, instantly. Okay. Uh, what you can also do is you can select parts of the text in here, right? And then you can um, get an explanation for it. Where, where did it go? Um, so I select part of the text in here, and then I can explain the text, for example, so I will click here, and then I'll get an explanation of that text. Um, but I can also get a summary of that text if I wanted to. Okay, you can get a summary, get related papers, which is a really good feature. We need to wait until um, SciSpace gives us um, an answer in here. So let's um, let's do it once again. Okay, this is this is really cool. Get related papers because you know you're you're reading something, you found interesting information, and very quickly you can click here, and um, SciSpace is going to suggest what other papers you should read on that specific topic. So all in all, this is probably the best AI tool for doing the literature review. Now, in the past, SciSpace did not have a very good writing module. So what would happen is that you would actually have to use Jenny AI, for example, for writing, and you'd be using SciSpace for the literature review. So you'd be spread between two tools and it just wasn't very efficient. Now, SciSpace added a fantastic um, AI writing module um, that really allows you to do everything that Jenny allows you to do and much, much more. Um, because now you have all the literature that you've been reading, you have it right here. You can do the literature review in here and then you can be writing all in the same tool. Whereas with a tool like Jenny, you can just write and you cannot really do a literature review. So um, this, I think, is a huge update to SciSpace, and I think you will no longer need ChatGPT, Jenny, or any other AI tool, and you can just use SciSpace. So um, the way it works, I'll just open one of, uh, one of the notebooks um, that, I, um, that I've got already um, in here. And I'll open it in full screen so that we can uh, see how the writing module um, works. So you can see these are, these are just my notes that uh, from the chats with um, AI that I had on, on SciSpace. And now um, what you can do is, first of all, you can add references. So if you click on this site uh, module um, in here, um, SciSpace will give you suggestions for relevant papers. Now, um, it's, I think it's really important that you upload papers to your library, as I showed you before, um, and then you can search through your library because then you, you always increase the accuracy of those citations because you know those texts already, they've been uploaded to your library, you've read them, um, but you can also, of course, uh, get SciSpace to search through the databases and peer-reviewed papers online and give you suggestions for new papers that currently aren't in your library but might be useful for this particular um, thing. And what you can do as well, at the moment SciSpace is just suggesting papers um, based on the text that is written, but you could actually type a keyword and start the search uh, yourself. So for example, I could say language ownership, okay? And then you can see straight away SciSpace is suggesting papers in here. Now, of course, if you haven't read that paper, well, you definitely want to open it in new tab, which again, I think is a really cool feature because you know everything is just in one software. You no longer have to go somewhere else to download that paper, read it and so on. You can just do it all in here. And then once you've read it and you've verified that this is, this is you know, good information, you can click here and then SciSpace will add the citation um, in here and then obviously update the reference list. At the moment, they, they're only using APA, but I know that they are working on adding more referencing styles. So probably when you're watching this video in a couple of weeks, there'll be all sorts of referencing styles um, in here. But we have to bear in mind for the time being with SciSpace. So that's the referencing. But then it's also got a fantastic AI writer uh, module. Um, where just like Jenny would, it, it makes suggestions. So for example, I can click on tab and then it just added this uh, suggestion um, in here. 
okay? And what I can also do is, for example, I'll select this and then I'll click on AI Writer and then I can also um, make this longer, okay? So, or write, write with more depth, actually. This is, this is the option that you wanna select. So this is really good if you know, you're stuck. You've written the first sentence of a paragraph and you're like, yeah, I, I have this information in my mind, but I just, I just don't know how to expand on it, right? How often something like this happens? Well, this just solves the problem for you because it will expand that initial idea, okay? And you can choose to replace the selection or just insert it below. And obviously you could regenerate it. So I'll just insert it um, below um, in here. And then, Again, you could be finding references for it, okay? Um, another thing that you can also do is um, write opposing arguments, okay? So when you're doing the literature review, it's really important to be critical and to acknowledge different points of view. So this allows you to do this uh, just with one click, okay? Because, you know, I've selected a text and then now we've got on the other hand and then we've got opposing points um, of view. and again, you know, you can find references for that and start adding um, citations. I think a great feature as well uh, that um, Jenny lacks and many of the um, AI writing tools that I've seen um, lack is just this fixed grammar, okay? Uh, so, you know, if you know that you have problems when it comes to language grammar when you're writing papers, you can just easily fix it just with one click um, in here. So um, you can do the whole literature review with SciSpace. You can write an entire um, academic text with SciSpace. And what you can also do is you can um, try the AI detector. So what I'm going to do is just uh, copy the entire text that I've got here. I'm gonna head to AI detector, okay? And then I'm going to paste it here, okay? And then, um, I will reanalyze this, okay? So in here, it detects 28% um, minimal human, okay? And then I can see the sentences straight away that were highlighted as potentially written by AI. And it even says moderate AI or low AI. So these are the sentences that I wanna be focusing on to rewrite um, thing. So I think that's another great feature. Well, you know, with if you're generating things with ChatGPT, you don't know if they'll pass through AI detectors. And then SciSpace has that built in right here, which I think is really, really useful. Let's also talk about the, the pricing of SciSpace. So all the features that I've shown you are just available out there for free without any need to sign up. You can be using any of the features that I've shown you here, um, as you can see, without any sort of login, any, uh, any card details needed, but they are limited. So uh, with the basic plan, you will get 30 outputs and you can uh, download up to 1000 words and you have five bibliography downloads and um, integrated spell check and so on, okay? Now with, um, with the most popular plan, which is the team plan, Okay, you get unlimited output, unrestricted downloads, unlimited bi bi bibliography, suggestions and track changes, integrated spell check, priority support, um, turn it in plagiarism checks. So, and it's just six dollars a month. So, really, with you know, with all the available tools that you've got here with SciSpace, I'd really recommend the the team plan because then you can take full advantage of all the AI goodness in SciSpace. And if you want to sign up on it, um, I've got actually a 40% discount that's available for you below this um, video. If you just type in Academic English Now coupon code, uh, then you'll get a 40% discount. And the link is right below this video. Now, if you want further support from a human being, to write and publish papers in top Scopus Index journals, then schedule a free one-to-one -one consultation with my team. We're going to sit down with you one-to-one, -one, identify what your specific challenges are, set your goals, and also come up with a personalized plan to help you to achieve those goals further. And the link to that free one-to-one -one consultation is right below this video.